In this lesson, you'll learn how to develop user interface layouts for your Android apps. Layouts control the visual structure of a screen display. For example, let's look at the common layouts section of this layouts page on the developer's website. Three common layouts are linear, relative, and web view. The linear layout organizes elements in a horizontal, as you see here, or vertical sequence one after the other. A relative layout organizes elements relative one to the other. So for example, this element is underneath this element and beside this other one. And a web view displays a web page. And we'll look at web views in detail in a later chapter. Now let's take a look at an example of a linear layout. We'll use the demo on our worksheet at line 229, a vertical layout with the Java code name Linear Layout 1. Let's start it up in the emulator by clicking Views, Layouts, Linear Layout, Vertical. And in Eclipse, in the Views source, we'll open the Linear Layout 1 Java file. In the Java code at line 35, we see a set content view using Linear Layout 1. So in the Layouts folder, let's open Linear Layout 1. And in line 19, we have the declaration of a linear layout. And in line 20, the orientation of vertical. And there are three text views. And they're in order, and you can see how they show up in the app screen. The top text view, the middle view, and the bottom view. So in a linear layout, the views are stacked one after the other, and you can see that text over here. Top view, middle view, bottom view. Next, let's take a look at a relative view. Let's go back in the demo and select Relative Layout and Vertical. And this demo is on line 233 in the worksheet, and it has a Java code name of Relative Layout 1. Go back in the Views Java folder, We'll open Relative Layout 1, and we see that it uses the Layout, Relative Layout 1, so we'll go back and open that. In the Relative Layout XML code, in line 21, we have the declaration of a Relative Layout, and there are three text views, and let's look at each one. Each of the views uses layout attributes to position themselves on the screen. In view one, the layout align parent top is set to true, and this attribute places the view just under the top of the parent view, which in this case is the screen display itself. So over here we see it's positioned right there at the top. In view two, we have the align parent bottom attribute set to true, which places this text view at the bottom here, see it in green on the app display. And in view 3, we have in line 49, layout above view 2. And in line 50, we have layout below view 1. So it's putting the center vertical text in between the top and the bottom. Now, as you might imagine, there are a lot of different ways to position screen objects relative to one another. And as with the other type of views, there are many different attributes that can be used to alter the appearance of the layout and the objects on the screen. In this course, we won't have time to go through all of these individually. So you need to learn how to look up the options on the developer's website. And let's use the relative layout to see how this is done. First, use the search feature on the website to search for the type of element you're working with. In this case, it's relative layout. So let's enter that. And what do we get? We see a reference to a page for relative layout, layout params, or layout parameters. That looks like what we're looking for. Click on that. And here they are. This is exactly what we're looking for. It's a list of the XML attributes for positioning. Now, it's a fairly long list. And as we'll see in the next lesson, the graphical layout editor can help deal with the magnitude of these options. But that's our lesson on layouts. Next, we'll learn more about using the Android tools to aid in developing your layouts.